Defending 300 became difficult, and in the end, they got home by just seven runs. Clive Lloyd of the West Indies is once again the match referee for today's game. He's joined by the two captains, Alistair Campbell, Zimbabwe, and Waka Yunus, Pakistan, for the toss. Al? Tails called. And tails it is, so Pakistan will win the toss once again. Waka, what are you going to do? Oh, definitely we're going we're gonna to bat again. Uh, we have done really well. The, it plays very well, this, this wicket, uh, as you've seen yesterday. Throughout the day, it played magnificently. It was uh, on the top uh, wicket for the one day. Well, uh, these are the teams in Zimbabwe, obviously, as Alistair Campbell was saying, a few of their players missing through injury. Yes, sure that the top border fire. Yesterday, we saw them 37 for four early on in the match, which they in Pakistan, well, uh, they won the toss, the Pakistani captain, and decided to uh, bat. And few changes, Salim Eli and Tafik Umar. Well, it's going to be a big shot, first ball. I would imagine that uh, might have pitched up. The ball was clearly pitched outside the leg stump. Uh, hooked away, this uh, might go to the boundary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warrington Moenga gets his first touch in international cricket going to be a call to see uh, whether it has gone to the boundary or not. Bit far away from it. Wobbles in the air. That's nicely played. Beautiful stroke. And Kala over pitching towards the pads. Easy pickings. Good start for Salim Ilahi in this innings. And uh, he just gets this one slightly wrong, doesn't Kala. Swing there for him, but over pitched and leg side. And uh, that sort of delivery to any world class player is going to go to the boundary. That might go to the boundary as well. From being uh, too full and leg side, he's uh, overcorrected. He's bowled short and he's bowled wide. And that's been punished. And that's also short and that's put away as well. And just not getting the ball in the right area often enough. They both had decent starts. And the second over, it's uh, all over the place. They cannot gamble. They cannot take their chances. Edgy stroke. And it's racing towards the boundary line. And it's eluded the fieldsman. A third man area, another boundary. Now there's nothing much you can do about this as a bowler. You've done the right thing. You've found the outside edge. You've been a little unlucky. But it's a decent delivery. That's what the fast bowlers should be looking to do all the times in one day internationals. That's gone high in the air. And he is in danger of getting out. Oh, that's once again a let off. Huge opportunity, not taken. Well, good bowling, two dot deliveries. Forced the batsman into manufacturing a stroke. And the batsman did give him... Well, it is not an easy catch. He's kept his eyes, he's done all the right things. And he's shouting mine as he's running. Shouts it again. But it uh, is a very, very difficult catch to take. Straight out of a clear blue sky. That's short and it's uh, hammered away. Craig Evans won't uh, stop. It's allowed him to whip the ball towards the square leg area for four runs. That's edged. Doesn't carry to the slips. But they also can't prevent it from going to the boundary. That's four more. One more example of uh, how the batsmen have been lucky. Ball falling short of the first slip. That should have been stopped. You've got to get your body behind that. That's put away in the air. Very confident shot by Salim Eli because he did not move out of his crease after he hit that one. Bounces and it's gone over the ropes. Here we see the contributions of the partnership. That smash, that's gone. Not a good delivery. But Salim Eli would have enjoyed that. It's a short delivery. Salim Elahi is quick to pounce on this. Just helps himself. Smashes into the leg side. No one on that side. In any position to stop that shot. So he gets four more moves onto 32. Sean Irvin uh, losing the plot here. It's a formidable offside field that he's got. 
And it's a no ball and that's crashed through the offside. This is a scintillating stuff from Elahi. That was hit extremely hard. Sean Irvin has got a field. Seven fielders on the offside and two on the left side. He has to bowl outside off. He does on this occasion, but he misses his length. And that's just crashed through that packed offside field. Once again, wrong length. Once again, paying the price of bowling too short. And Salim Alai had played short, wide, and he just picks his spot. Waddington Moyenga was into the attack now from the airport end. Making his debut. Testing time for him. Yorker length is better than being short. A little bit of bottom hand coming into that drive from Elahi. Probably trying to hit the ball a little too hard. Well, he can do that, Dotti Kumar, because Pakistan uh, are firmly stuck. 13 overs gone. Good first over. Pakistan 66 without a wicket. Uh, gone very quickly to the fielder there and I think he's missed it. The bowling outside off here. Obviously expecting the ball to swing back in. Again, good because it's been pitched up. I think Anir is doing well but then stepping on the boundary. And so you're misjudging the position he was in. Nice drive, and he'd find the gap. That's uh, nicely executed. Salim Eli is on song here. He has played a couple of beautiful shots. Salim Eli, he goes to 49 with this particularly good shot. If the ball swing back into him, waits for it, and then opens the face slightly, but gets straight through the ball, finds the gap, and it's four. Just one away from his 50. And he'll get his 50. So good batting by Salim Eli. Seventh one day 50 in one day internationals. And he'll raise the bat to the gallery. Once again, uh, a very, very mature inning. Runs for Tafik. Desperate chase. Call a loud call from uh, the non striker. No, so they just ran two there. Well, feel it. That's nicely worked away, away from the fieldsman, and it's gone to the boundary line for four runs. Great cricket, minimum effort, maximum result. No chance for the fieldsman in the end. So a boundary off the last delivery means that at the first drinks interval, Pakistan have got to 88 without loss. They'll be most happy with that. Good shot, and it's going to go through. I think the Zimbabwean fielders this morning are just diving on the ball too late. There's a lot of pace in the outfield, dry conditions. A dive, sliding dive needs to be a little bit earlier, get the body behind the ball. a fine shot that's a fine shot Salim Alahi going aerial over extra cover well, although Salim Alahi has taken with a full face great follow-through and balance and the placement was superb getting the elevation right also so it brings up the hundred partnership and the hundred of the innings nice and quickly too There's a big shot, it's the slog sweep, and it's well done, it's into the gap. Nothing wrong with the delivery, but great improvisation. 
he's flowing in two and playing that stroke beautifully done it's gone to deep it on and uh, it's gone for four here's an example again he's hit with a lot of pace the Zimbabwean not in the field preventing the boundaries A lovely shot it just hit beautifully there Salim Milai rose with the ball and then made room to find the gap has turned out to be one exciting innings one responsible innings because his partner struggled for uh, a bit of form but Salim Milai has taken the responsibility and Dave very impressive Uh, that's another boundary now he's gone berserk here Salim a couple of lovely shots through the off and this full toss being put away once again placement was absolutely perfect he'll get his hundred that is an exceptional innings from uh, Salim Alai his second one day international hundred and he's a delighted man and he's played well he really has been in a very very good innings only taken up uh, just over half the overs so he could be in for a real big one here and it's now 150 been uh, operating at that leg stump the ball was just too full to play that expensive sweep shot the first wicket in the innings has fallen so it's taken 32 overs and one ball this large one of the Pakistani batsmen can't fly off, operating from over the wicket to a little bit of rough that there a little bit of turn and ecstatic oh we'll get some success Salim here, well played, 107. There's the big shot, it's gone up in the air again, it's going to clear. Yesterday in the One Day International, he hit that into Craig Evans' hands. This one, he's taken on the boundary again. And Business. It's a full P, and it's put away. Yes, it's a boundary. A good attempt in the end. But, uh, the boundaries will start to come if a Freedy stays at the crease for any length of period. Yes, they're trying to get it in the block hole. It's staying uh, quite a bit. The high full toss to show the Freedy. It's in the vacant mid wicket region. There's a big shot. That is hit square, and it's a big six. He's taking on the short boundary. So Mourienga, a couple of boundaries in this over already. Tired of really being offered some width on this occasion. Just getting under the delivery. Opening the, the blade in contact, and... 192 for one. And uh, as predicted, Tafik Umar is now going to start to look for the boundaries as well that's a fine shot but aerial flat straight back pass drawn flower for four since his first spell of six overs well, he both quite well this morning guilty perhaps of a couple of overs where there were loose deliveries of months oh, an experiment from uh Irvin. It was uh, up by Dave Orchard that uh, signaled that he felt it had to be wide. The reason for it, he felt, well, is it with another bouncer? That one uh, better directed. And there's a big blow here, but it's gone straight up now. Can the fielders get to this? Well taken in the end. That hung in the air a long, long time, but it went to an experienced fielder. Andy Flower, it was. A free a long, long way this went in the air and a long, long way Andy Flower had to, to run in order to get under this catch. Gets right under it, sets himself and gets his hands up 
a very good position to catch gets rid of Shahida Freely he scores a quick fire 30 Pakistan 204 for two Bikumar will hit this one because he uh, crossed with the last delivery and he's hit that for six he's also taking on the boundary that's successful he's done exactly what's required of him slightly shorter got the top of the bat so no real power in the shot he's just uh, icing the hand taking a very high catch to get rid of Shade of Fidi well, I think that's gone all the way the use of Johan is not taking too long to get into the act it has gone all the way looked uh, from about middle stump high and wide getting enough far and also the elevation to clear the boundary rope for six rounds. That has been brought up into the field and the immediate reply is uh, to smack it back over that area. Now that uh, might need another check as well, Nat. Umpire Orchard is satisfied it's cleared this time. And up when the hands are spin and the par. The depth of the overs by Yusuf Yuhana. Showing no respect, none to ever. Stepped out of the crease and then all the certainty in the world. And he's welcome to the wicket. Uh, big six of the first delivery. Yusuf Yohana continues his big hitting. This one uh, just in front of square on the leg side and had uh, a lot more legs on it. But that's his fourth. He hasn't hit a boundary, but four sixes. Look at that one. 51 balls this uh, 50 is taken. Real acceleration. Now, could this be out? There's a low pull toss, it's held. So Craig Evans' persistence with bowling the ball full has paid off. He bowled one length ball, was hit for six. He's bowled three up. And uh, he's managed to pick up the wicket of Tafik Umar. to the bowler but you cannot blame Tafi Kumar as well they're facing last eight overs in this innings and as a batsman you're required to up the scoring rate you've got to take chances and he was looking to take the chances but the execution wasn't that great and in the end he had to sacrifice his wicket well played young man 76 runs he has scored in this innings and Pakistan 252 for three Wasim's not holding back, but he's uh, found the field at ground flower. So Craig Evans picks up another cheap wicket. Wasim Akram doing the right thing by the team, trying to find the boundary, and he managed to find ground flower. Hit the ball really hard, right out of the middle of the bat. The only thing lacked in that stroke was the elevation. Hit the ball flat and straight to the fieldsman. And ground flower, making no mistake, took it very easily, and the crowd is jubilant. Wasim Akram is on the way back after scoring one run. You know, he might be uh, protecting his average or something. That's nicely played by Yusuf Yuhana. Full toss on the left-hand side, and it's gone. And that's his 50. What a knock from Yusuf Yuhana. He's enjoying a great run of form. That's going to be another boundary as well. Placement absolutely perfect. There's two men behind square saving the shot. He's got it between them. It's 279 for four. Once again, delicate. And once again, great placement. Now, this is great batting by Yusuf Johanna. He's gone there and conquered the attack. Put uh, in the over cover area, couple of bounces and into the boarding holes. That's a solid blow. That's gone. That's a big hit. That's the biggest six of the innings. Azar Mahmood has clobbered it and he's enjoyed it as well. So we've seen some big sixes today. This is uh, 
the biggest of them all. It's taken on the on boundary, which is uh, quite large, and it's gone to almost the second row there. Fuller length. Pakistan uh, bringing their 300. They are 300 for four. A run rate of 6.4. The sixth 50 coming of just 30 balls, the fastest of the innings. The fifth and the sixth have been uh, very quick, coming in quick time. Big one. That's a big hit. Yusuf Johanna has uh, played a blistering knock. Absolutely brilliant to watch. 47 overs gone, 306 for four. Another big blow. It's just happening ball after ball now. 12th six of the innings. And Carla, well, it's it's the length he wanted as a batsman. It's right in the slot. Once again, nicely struck. Once again, the width is there. He's put it in the air. Will it be taken by the fielder? Yes. The catching generally has been good. So safely held. Very important in the slog overs that uh, the best fielders are placed on the boundary. You'll normally find them in the uh, opening overs in the inner circle. Grand Flower, safe pair of hands. Sean Irvin has dropped this short on purpose. Roll the wrist on the ball, bit of off cut, and it's hit the top of the bat. So no power in the shot. Grand Flower won't drop those. So Azam Mahmood perishing for the cause. He's gone for 18. Pakistan 310 for five. Once again, putting the ball in the air with effortless ease. Now, that was indeed an extremely special shot, and because I feel that's uh, nicely guarded away by Kamran Akmo. That's a good, uh, thoughtful shot, because he knew exactly where the fielder was, so I had to play it fine away from him. Making room and slicing the ball over point. He'll get a boundary. hit hard that's gone in a flash to the boarding hoods boundary after boundary and the force with which these deliveries are being hit means that even if they're placed a couple of yards from the fielders on the boundary they're beating the fielder just a smashing hit went uh, to the fielder very quickly didn't have time to adjust to that bounce so three fours already for Kamran Akmal, last ball of the innings. And he's gone the other way this time to mid-wicket, will be stopped. So Pakistan finishing very strongly here. Of the quota of 50 overs, they end up with 344 for the loss of five wickets. Pakistan doing extremely well with the opening partnership. Tortik and Eli making sure that they get to, to a good platform. About the bowling, Sean Irvin bowled well at times, but it was really the spinners who held anything back and uh, oh, well Zimbabwe really will have to bat out their skins to get there 345 or 50 overs at 6.9 runs per over Campbell well he's got uh, plenty on his plate Stuart Matsakaneri the right-handed batsman just 19 years of age as Vaseem Akram starts the proceedings. And uh, straight away on target, he uh, didn't have a very good first over last time. And uh, straight away, an excellent delivery and given. What a ball. That shape back. And the youngster really didn't have a clue at what was happening out there. And in the end, just Pakistan wait three balls. Vaseem Akram ending the ball back. Stuart Matsukaneri 
did just swing it. Just hit him in line, and that's out. So Matsi Kanyeri goes without scoring and facing only one ball. Zimbabwe have lost a wicket and have only scored one run. from Wakara, I think it was just a little high down the leg set that's much better that's clean him up Andy Flower huge wicket for Wasim Akram and Pakistan what a great comeback Bold will not be worried about them at all if in between he can do that he's missed the ball by a long way it's Pitched outside off and carried on going towards the off stump. Cannoned into it. Zimbabwe's best batsman, Andy Flowers, gone without scoring. Zimbabwe reeling a three for two. Down the track, and that is a he hefty blow. That is a nice shot. He came down. Has to run down the wicket of the new ball bowlers. Hit them straight back past them. That's a good stroke. Beautiful. A bit of width outside the off stump. It's been dispatched away by the captain beautifully and disdainfully for four rounds. End of the over. Zimbabwe 18 for two. And he's got a wicket too. That's gone right through Don Flower. And the third wicket for Wazim Akram. Picked up a wicket, lack of bounce, and also ground flower committed himself on the back foot rather than playing that delivery on the front foot. And we'll see Makram has been rewarded with the third wicket in this innings. Ground flower. That's a beautiful delivery. Huge shout and a nod from the umpire, and that's the wicket number four for Wasim Akram. What a game he is having. And all four to the great man was in cramp. This is an absolute beauty. Pitch to the left, just caught the outside edge. Regulation catch for uh, Cameron Akmal. It's another wicket for Wasim. He is uh, four for nine now, in less than five overs. Barney Rogers goes without scoring. It's 20 for four. That's a good start. That uh, may well go to the boundary. Very good start for Craig Evans. Wasim Akram hasn't looked to get anything off target in his spell so far. The Makram, and the way Craig Evans played that stroke, looked like he was on the crease for a long time. It'll be a wide as well. I don't remember. This could be out as well. It is. Inzi uh, has taken the catch at first slip, and Zimbabwe's troubles continue. Well, what are you? But this spell of really good fast bowling. Bit of width enticed the batsman into pushing the ball towards extra cover, getting the outside edge. And job well done by Inzamamul Haq. Took the catch very easily. Craig Evan departs after scoring four runs, and Zimbabwe sinking. 20 going to go at him go hard it was wide it probably would have been signaled a wide it was short as well the tenders uh, had a good go at it and he's picked up a boundary for some reason flashy stroke getting enough bat to clear the boundary line and that's the reaction from Waka Yunus had a wry smile He's suggesting that you haven't got the broad shoulders, very small ones. Right, 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 never mind. Couple of runs uh, for Tedda Taibu. Said Afridi's into the attack. Said last bit of a respite for the Zimbabweans, and they're uh, taking toll of it. Tedda Taibu, a second boundary for him. Just uh, cut away nice and late behind square on the offside. 
Ashi by pitching the ball outside the off stump and also short. Four runs, easy pickings. He's nicked it, but it's gone fine at the slip position, so he's going to pick up four. Alistair Campbell, very fortunate to survive on this occasion. Ball going between the keeper and the first slip. Very well bowled delivery. As Emma Mood moving very late to his right. Bring Alistair Campbell alive. Bring him four more runs. So that one's in the gap for Tabu. Pick up uh, a single and think about the second. Decide against wisely. Yes, Sittens. Mostly in the south. Well ball, very well ball, we said earlier that it takes 25 overs to make a big shot from Alistair Campbell at last. It's got in the meat of the bat. Picked the right delivery. And it hit into the second area of the stand. That is a very, very big shot. Alistair Campbell has managed to get this a long way up into the stands. This comes down the wicket. Seems to ease it over mid on. It goes way up into the air. Sutland saw Campbell coming, sent it wide, but Campbell got across to it. This one's a flatter bat shot with a lot of power. Coming down initially to try and hit the ball back straight over his head. Bowls it wide and so has to employ the flat bat. Does it to good effect. Just clears mid off. And he gets four more. Forced to field change. There's a sweeper on the offside now. Mid off's uh, back on the boundary. Just a bit of turn. We've seen slow turn on this wicket most of the day. in the air and the easiest of catches a very soft dismissal Campbell trying to turn the ball away on the leg side the leading edge Zimbabwe have lost a big one Alistair Campbell playing a bit early the ball maybe slowing up on him trying to turn it around the corner with the spin presenting Pezal Iqbal with the catch he's gone for 32 Zimbabwe 64 for 6 Fine. On Irvin, just easing that through the offside. All cleanly as Andy Pycroft says. Absolutely no trouble to get four on that occasion. We're well, going for the big one this time, Sean Irvin, and hitting it well. He's uh, tried to sweep a couple of times, only been able to pick up singles. This time finds a gap and a boundary to end the over. 81 for six. Good shot by the tender tie boot. He's placed that perfectly through extra cover. It was aerial for a while, but he struck it well and placed it. So a boundary to the little man. Once again, showing a great deal of grit, great deal of courage, although that went uppishly, but was in the gap. The placement was good. A little bit of width provided by Afridi. We are well behind the rate required. And Sean Irvin's placed that away behind square. It's quite a quick outfield. And I've got a feeling Wazimaka will pull it in. He has. Three of the last ball of the over from Sean Irvin. For 25 overs, 89 for six. Very good effort from Akram kind of weather where you like to feel nice breeze blowing across uh, the ground and also Pakistan right on top very keen Wasim that's a lovely shot a very clean hit that's right good footwork that occasion hits the ball late lovely flow of the bat through the ball so he's one of the cleanest hitters uh, of the young crop coming through in Zimbabwe though.
once again lovely drive great timing clean hit well if he keeps on playing like this he'll uh, earn himself a bat contract very shortly doesn't have a sticker on his bat he hit the first one square up in uh, response to that Marco Yunus put a square field out of cover on the boundary that one he's hit straighter and for this particular reason now that's gone high up in the air and that's gone all the way that's a six that is a six no need to confirm that from the third umpire in Duggan it was quick and he's uh, only really got hold of it just in front of his face but he got enough bat on it to carry it was good bowling in the end it goes down to six runs to Sean Irvin not a bad shot but uh, was well worth the effort from Azam Mahmood not a bad stick as well it's a good shot he's got that away between the two men at backward square and he's going to pick up another boundary as the background dived in vain, didn't manage to cut it off. Catch it! The shout to catch it, it's going to be another boundary. The ball was outside leg, deserves sweeping, and he's got no real protection out there. So the second boundary for Sean Irvin, he progresses to 39. Vakai Yunus trying to calm the nerves of the bowler here, Shahid Afridi probably still was thinking about that last boundary. And he'll now think about this one. He's brought up a very bright and breezy 50-run partnership for Zimbabwe. Now that's going to go a long way. Now that's gone into the stands. Sean Irvin is winning the battle this over, that's for sure. A couple of boundaries. And Just stood there and big swing of the bat coming down on the ball and away it went. Very swiftly and uh, very far. Great balance. Great timing and great placement. It's going to be another boundary. It's going to be a first one day 50 for Sean Irvin. And it has been thoroughly entertaining. He's delighted. And I'll tell you what, so is this crowd. They've got something to cheer about at last. Really a bright spot. Sean Irvin. It has been one excellent innings. Hardly seem to have hit this one. Just quickly did exactly what the batsman was uh, wanting it to do well he's got that away again uh, that will really not uh, impress Shadow Fidi he didn't enjoy the last over much and he's not going to enjoy the start of oh nicely played but well, was looking for a yorker turned out to be a full toss it's been dealt ably by Sean Irvin four runs that's his ninth boundary The rain is coming very, very, very heavily now. Welcome back to the wet Queen Sports Club ground here in Bulawayo, where we have a result. Match abandoned due to rain. Pakistan won by 104 runs in the end because of the Duckworth-Lewis uh, Lewis method. And so 